Hi, Alicia. Thank you for your essays. Now let's have a look at the first one about creativity. Nowadays, there's an important debate on the best method to promote children's mental development. Okay. Whereas some people defend traditional approaches as reading books, others claim that leisure activities are more useful in this matter. Okay. This essay agrees that the use of new technological devices or the practice of sports are better ways to stimulate our offspring's mind than simply reading books. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Let me just do something here. Review. Track changes. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I have one little um, remark. Leisure activities. The task says enjoyable activity. Enjoyable and leisure are not absolutely the sa same things. So perhaps you could uh, rethink the use of um, um, leisure here because no, they're not the same things. Okay. Um, And then you say technological devices or practice of sports. Okay, good. Let's see. Firstly, playing with modern game consoles. No, not with, uh, on modern game consoles. Game. It can be very stimulating for the youngest members of the family. This is because these video games often incorporate elements that require special awareness, reflexes, and strategy planning. Okay, good. However, stimulating also has a connotation of um, being too uh, exciting for the young members. So um, perhaps you can, I would add the word positively stimulating or educational and stimulating, something like this. A big example of this is LOL, a popular video game among youngsters in which players have to be imaginative to avoid numerous obstacles and plan, uh, it probably means escaping, right? Like escape, like you're running away from something. Uh, strategies constantly. You cannot plan strategies. Uh, you can elaborate strategies. I mean, I agree with strategy planning here, but it looks like it doesn't work when you use it as a subject-object combination. Therefore, by playing video games, children can obtain a wide range of cognitive and motor abilities that books cannot offer. Okay, makes sense. Good use of vocabulary. Um, the the paragraph is rather well built. Uh, yes, everything is in place. Secondly, competitive sports may also be beneficial for childhood development. Okay, well, childhood development sounds a bit weird because you don't develop the childhood, right? So you can say for the development of young brains or young minds up to you, but not childhood development, no. The reason is that sports foster bo both physical and cognitive abilities like creativity, critical thinking, and problem solving. Recent research carried by Harvard University play a good example here. I wouldn't use the word play. Um, I would say present or offer. They found that children, uh, who they? Uh, there is no they in here because you said research, which is uh, the study itself without the focus on the people who did it. And the example is singular. So um, um, there is no point for using they. Uh, you can say it has been found, or it was found, up to you, uh, that children who played any kind of sport on a regular basis outperformed their passive counterparts in the classroom. Consequently, it seems that physical activities during the first years of life are vital to gain important skills. Okay. I would ask why they outperformed their counterparts. What did they learn? How did they become different? It feels like this paragraph is a bit underdeveloped. I mean, I would put an explanation here. Perhaps one explanation sentence. Looking at the above mentioned points, and above mentioned is either hyphenated or uh, one word, it seems clear that the use of modern devices as well as the regular practice of sports are more important in childhood development than reading. And I have mentioned childhood development already. It is predicted that these activities will expand in the future. Okay, two things here. The use of modern devices. The use of modern devices. I can easily refute your argument and the same the same in the introduction because I thought about that, but then I thought I will come back to it. 
if you say the if you generalize as use of modern devices and but then you focus only on game consoles and video games you are being inaccurate why because if you generalize by saying use of new technological devices you include smartphones and tablets and whatnot uh, let's uh, virtual reality glasses and uh, interactive activities as well. Which ones do you mean? All of them uh, in equal measure. So uh, there are numerous uh, studies that uh, explicitly say that the use of screens like uh, smartphones or tablets, uh, let alone uh, computers and TV, uh, have to, has to be terribly, terribly limited for children, like I don't even remember the range of ages and the amounts, but yes, it has to be limited. So, generalizing and saying use of new technological devices is um, a dangerous thing. So it can be, it can lead you somewhere that you don't want to go. So please mind that and be specific enough. You can say the use of playing on game consoles and the practice of sports, and you can be specific and correct. Now, that's, that was a good essay. Uh, everything was in place. You answered the question appropriately. Uh, you did not go off topic, well, apart from the, uh, the use of devices uh, um, expression. Other than that, that is a nice essay. That's a nice essay. I'm not sure how long it is. It looks kind of short to me. Let me have a look. 264 words. Yes, that's there. That's borderline, right? So, uh, I could suggest that a good essay for part two should be as long as 270 or 290 words. Just for your information. Why? Because if you develop better, you will be able to make yourself more convincing and clear. Anyway, let's have a look at the second one. Well, the school should use more enjoyable strategies to gain students' attention. Students should be possessive here, uh, or instead, so uh, basically it has to be uh, as, oh, one second, it has to be, there has to be a um, um, an apostrophe there, and the, the apostrophe between T and S shouldn't be there, okay, like that. Attention, or instead, more traditional approaches has become a strongly debated issue. Word order. Uh, the school should use more enjoyable strategies to gain students' attention, or more traditional approaches, or you can use or, comma, instead, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to, to clarify this. You see, uh, what suggests uh, saying have because you have approaches right here, and this creates a confusion. So if you could, if you could solve this part by changing the structure of your sentence, it would be really great because what you have uh, is the confusion, the visual confusion that approaches is the subject for has become, which it's not. I know it didn't mean this, but your word order means this. So uh, you really need to rephrase this. Uh, this essay agrees that the classroom's main objective should be educational and, comma, to illustrate this, children's development features and the availability of free time after school will be analyzed. Okay. I'm not sure I understood. To illustrate this, no, you're not going to illustrate this by doing this. You're going to discuss this. So I wouldn't use the word illustrate here. So this sentence also needs rephrasing. I'm I'm very happy that you have included your stance. Yes, you um, you choose to stick to the uh, opinion that um, that the main purpose of the classroom is educational or should be educational. Uh, so this essay agrees that the classroom, that the main objective in a classroom should be educational, and we'll discuss and and in order to analyze the complexities uh, of this uh, position, um, 
children's development features and availability of free time will be discussed, let's say, something like this. Firstly, it is vital for children to separate leisure spaces from learning ones. Uh, I would say leisure from learning spaces. No, 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 I disagree with myself. To separate leisure spaces from the, from the ones where they learn, yes, from the ones where they learn, like this, okay. This is because during the first years of mental development, the patterns for mature behavior are created. So, so, so the word so would be great here. So if we teach children to mix entertaining and mandatory issues, I wouldn't use the word mandatory, we may be preventing them from learning important matters as responsibility, sacrifice, or rewarding. Not rewarding, reward. I'm not sure I understood that. At first I thought I did. So you mean don't, don't study and play in the same space? Do you mean this? If yes, you have to be more straightforward about that. I'm not sure why uh, and how this sentence connects to the next one. I mean, I can, I can guess. So uh, if we keep doing this throughout the first years of uh, uh, a child's development, um, the child will become accustomed to mixing work and play, and thus a pattern uh, will be created, uh, and when they become mature, they will uh, have difficulty separating work from leisure. Do you mean this? If yes, you need to explain it kind of like this because otherwise these two sentences are not quite clear. I mean, one additional sentence is required to explain clearly what you mean here. I can kind of read between the lines and infer, but the thing is that you don't need to do this. You, you must not, must not do this in the exam. Why? Because this means incoherence. It's not, uh, the connection of ideas is not obvious. According to recent research, students who used entertaining learning techniques like video games tended to have worse results at the end of the course. Therefore, it seems prudent to leave the leisure activities as a reward after having finished the mandatory ones. Are you sure about that? Leaving entertainment as a reward after learning? That's interesting. Okay, up to you. But there's another problem. Here you say, that spa leisure spaces should not be mixed with the uh, with the learning with the um, learning spaces. And here you say um, entertaining uh, techniques like video games um, interfere with academic progression. Uh, I think you are supporting uh, your idea with the wrong example. So you don't speak about spaces here. Sorry about that. I mean. This is not about, this part is not about spaces, while this part, while this part is, right? What's the middle part about? I am not sure because there is no connection. Sorry, Alicia. I mean, I like the idea, but you don't develop it. The thing is that if you have an important idea, um, in the beginning of this uh, body paragraph, you have to develop it. But you said spaces, so that's why uh, I caught that on that, onto that, and thought, oh, you mean don't play where you learn. So correct me if I'm wrong, write me an email, tell me what you think, because I want to know what you meant. And you want to know what you meant, so that you know how to rewrite this paragraph. Secondly, children have an increasingly overscheduled agenda after school. So, so what? So you really need to put the answer here too. Uh, and this means that uh, putting more uh, leisure activities will even uh, worsen the situation. Probably you need to finish this sentence because other than that, uh, if you don't do that, this is not a successful topic sentence. It's not the, the idea, the main idea of this paragraph is not clear. Sports, video games, and musical education, only some of the multiple activities that the youngest of the families normally perform during the afternoons. Normally. Uh, well, okay. Uh, I would say typically, because normally and typically are different, but you can argue. 
Uh, for instance, almost every Spanish public school has a wide offer of leisure activities after classes. Looking at this, it may not be necessary to include more entertainment in the educational hours. Okay. Um, so perhaps you could do it like this. Secondly, why should there be a need to include more entertainment um, at school if children already have an increasingly overscheduled agenda after school? Something like this. Because without that part, it's not clear what you mean. Anyway, and you need uh, and you need to uh, conclude. So how about a therefore uh, sentence? Uh, I think in, by, by this time in the course, you have already learned about the acronym for the development of every single paragraph of the essay. And if you did, uh, please revise that, and you will uh, find out that you need to have concluding par uh, sentences in each body paragraph, which will resume and restate the main idea uh, of the paragraph. Anyway, great idea. Very good. Very good. But uh, I wouldn't say offer here. I would say range, collocation. Uh, other than that, very uh, very nice use of vocabulary. And uh, well, I already told you what I think. To conclude, it is crucial to separate enjoyment from learning during childhood in order to help the brain development, not brain's brain. And also because there is enough time in a child's day possession to cover both spheres. I wouldn't say spheres, to cover both types of activities, both um, types of activities, not spheres, no. However, with the technological boom we are witnessing, it is predicted that these mixed educational strategies will expand in the future. Okay, it could be predicted. It could be predicted, I would say. Try to be softer and more hedging. Um, and yes, by the way, I think I forgot to comment on the same sentence in uh, in uh, essay one. So perhaps you could be more hedging and say it could be predicted that these activities would expand in the future. But again, I think you don't really have the right to say that because what exactly in your essay gives you the possibility to predict that with so much certainty? Think about it. Anyway, let's yeah, great work. Great work. Um, your essays uh, um, have good shape, but they still need work. Anyway, you have very good, good use of topical vocabulary, pretty good paragraphing, but make sure that your uh, paragraph structure is uh, correct and uh, has all the elements. Other than that, um, listen again to my correction video, make a list of errors, and rewrite your uh, essays using those suggestions. I'm really hoping that uh, my comments are going to help you improve, and looking forward to more of your work.